Good morning guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So it is Wednesday, it's the Wednesday before Christmas. Um, it is not snowing anymore, which is good. It's actually warmed up reasonably well, it's not that cold out there now, which is good. Um, and the roads are clear, which is, which is good because I have to go and do my big Christmas shop tomorrow. Um, first thing in the morning girls are going to come and help me charlotte uh, uh, isabel and olivia are going to come and help me tomorrow um so we normally go pretty early in the morning to avoid crowds and rushes and kind of so that there's lots of things stocked up in the supermarket um and then hopefully that'll be the last time i have to go to the supermarket for a little while um so anyway we get in there on the christmas prep i think still got like i said we've still got the shopping to do still got some presents to wrap still got some bits and pieces to do at the moment, I'm in the middle of doing our Christmas pyjamas. Because, um, you know, I haven't got enough to do, so I thought I'd just throw myself some more stuff in there as well. Because um, I like a challenge, I like to challenge myself. And uh, I hate to not be busy. So, you know, I'm always busy. Anyway, um, yeah. So, I mean, I always have a panic every year that I've got so much to do and am I going to get it all done? And I've got so much to do and am I going to get it all done? And I ju it just kind of goes around and around in circles like that. And I always get it all done, but it's it's always quite stressful, isn't it? It's always kind of a bit of a, sorry, it's the shadow of, of my hand. There's always so much to do. Um, and you kind of always have in your head that you want it to be, well, not perfect necessarily. You just want everyone to have a nice Christmas. Um, but in actual fact, everybody just enjoys being at home and spending time together. It's just, um, it's just a bit of a shame this year that the, the kind of Christmas run up, cause like we've had the TV on in the afternoon in the kitchen and we've been in there and like, um, you've got all the Christmas films and stuff on and like the kids are still at school. I really wish they'd had this week at home so that we could have, um, kind of got into the Christmas, you know, they've had a little bit of a wind down and watched the Christmas films and done all that because you know, once Christmas, even Christmas Day is here and Boxing Day, that's kind of, you've got the bit in between Christmas and New Year, but then that's it. It's kind of, you know, done. And it would have been nice for them to have been at home to kind of had a bit more of that um, Christmassy feel, if you like, because I know they've been, they've had parties and stuff like that at school, but it's not quite the same as, as them being at home. And by the time they get home, they're knackered and they've all been ill and they've all got coughs and colds again. And, you know, it's just... <sighs> just they could have just done with being finished earlier but that's just my opinion anyway um like i said i'm in the middle of doing the christmas pajamas and i know quite a few people have asked for me to do a video on um my cricut stuff obviously i wanted to get my business back up and running after flow was born but um it hasn't happened this year we've had so much other stuff on and obviously Joseph needing a little bit more um, attention and care. Other things have been going on at home. So I haven't really been able to, I would have been able to do it, but I would have put too much pressure on myself. And thus in turn would then put pressure on other people in the family. So I just wanted to give it a little bit more time. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping to be able to get, obviously as well, Ben left the raft. So he's got a new job and it was all that sort of transition kind of stuff we didn't know you know what shifts he was going to be on his shifts are different now so we've had to kind of juggle roles a little bit and and all that sort of stuff so it would have just been too much pressure so hopefully next year i'll be able to slowly get my business back up and running again but for now i've just been doing lots of bits and pieces for us at home really and especially like for florence's first christmas so christmas pajamas i've thought i would put together a kind of video on showing you how how i do it um and what our design is for this year so i'm going to try and find one for last year and then i'll show you what we've got for this year okay so this is last year's design that i did you've probably seen um some of the kids wearing it to be honest they wear their christmas pajamas all year round it's not just for christmas here so um this was one of the older ones last year so these were the ones we went for last year kind of just something that i put together um using sort of design space and ideas in my head um and what i do is i just i just use plain t-shirts to be honest last year we had white this year we've gone with navy blue 
so that's last year's um i did used to try and get you can get um uh blank pajamas if you like matching blank pajamas for, sort of wholesale um but not everybody likes the same pajamas so you know obviously the old ones aren't going to like what the young ones like some of the older girls like to wear shorts some of them like to wear trousers so what we decided to do instead or what i decided to do instead was um for everybody to have a matching top and then just whatever bottoms they wanted really um because it just it was just too difficult to try and find a, a kind of something that would fit everybody and that everybody would like and that everybody would wear because like i said they wear them all year round so this year if you've seen one of my recent Shein vlogs, I think I have the Christmas pyjamas that I bought in there because I bought quite a few pairs from there. And then some of the older ones bought some from Primark as well. So if you've seen any of those vlogs, you would have seen the ones that they've got already. But I will show you the design we've gone for this year and then I'll just have a quick go through the bottoms that we've got. Right, so this is my one. So it's a little bit different this year. I kind of wanted, I didn't really know where to start this year um, of what exactly I wanted. Um, but I knew I kind of wanted a reindeer somewhere <laughs> and uh, Christmas crew and obviously the year. So I kind of just put this together on Design Space and I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out. So that one's my one and I've got these bottoms to go with it. Although I did actually find some really nice Christmas ones in Asda because these are from Asda. And um, I've got some ones like these already. And they're just they're so comfortable. They're um, they're just really comfortable. And they're only like £8 a pair. And they're just they're really nice material. They're really stretchy. I did actually find some Christmas ones after. And I did um and ah as to whether to buy them. But I didn't. I've just stuck with these. So that's my set. Uh, this one is one of the girls. So they've all got um, the same sort of size t-shirts. But so this one is one of the girls sets. So I think Charlotte and Eva have gone for these fluffy. Actually, they're so thick and warm. They're really, really nice. And they've got pockets and they're really soft. So soft. So they've gone for those ones. So they'll have those ones and the matching blue T-shirts. Isabel and Olivia have got the Grinch bottoms, which they have actually got tops with as well. Um, but they'll wear them separately. So that's fine those are the other ones i bought these just as trousers so they didn't have any tops so that's those ones and then toby's got these ones toby's got those ones excuse my washing in the background and then all four little ones have got these ones so the twins joseph and agnes have got those ones all with the same matching blue t-shirts i haven't finished doing them yet so that one is Ben's t-shirt. Ben's got one too, but he won't have any bottoms. He'll just have a t-shirt. And then I've got another, I've got another four small ones, which will be Eva, Noah, Livy, and Isabel, I think. Um, and then obviously Lizzie will have a t-shirt, but she won't have um, shorts or trousers or anything because she'll just wear it with something else. Um, so yeah, I've still got Elizabeth's t-shirt to do, and then I've got Agnes, Joseph, Leah, Erin's, Joseph, Leah, Erin's, somebody else's, uh, e Toby, um, and the baby. So the baby has got, um, I couldn't, couldn't get a tiny blue t-shirt for her size. I wanted to get her a blue t-shirt, the same as the rest of us, and I couldn't find one. I've found since, I've found some, but they, I couldn't get them delivered in time. Um, I couldn't get one small enough for her, so I got plain blue long sleeve bodysuits instead. So she's having the same design on a blue bodysuit, and she's got some little stripy Christmas pyjamas bottoms already, so she's going to put them with them. Um, because I couldn't, you know, you can get sleep suits and stuff. And she's got on my first Christmas sleep suit, which you've probably seen if you're on my Instagram, you would have seen it on my stories. Um, so yeah, that's what she's got. So I've still got like seven to do. I've done seven, I've still got seven to do. Um, so some of those pajamas that I got for the little ones as well, they did come with tops. So they'll have like a spare top, but 
I always find it quite handy having spare things because, you know, if they spill something or if they get something dirty, you've got a spare top. So that's always quite handy. So everything will get used. But it's quite nice as well that they all have, you know, they all got the bottoms that they feel comfortable in and that they like. And everyone has a matching T-shirt. So it's just, it's kind of, it's the matching pyjamas just with our own little tweak on it, if you like. So I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to kind of talk you through what I do on the design space and show you how I print them. Um, Joseph is playing Mario Kart in the lounge at the moment. So I will have to time lapse some of it because he won't let me turn off his Mario Kart for too long. Um, and he's happy at the moment, so I'm just leaving him play. So I'll kind of, I'll time lapse some of it and I'll talk you through some of it. Um, and then I'll show you how we print it all up. Okay, so this is yeah. my design space, which is the program you use with oh, flying. Cricut. I'm <laughs> Joseph's flying. playing Minecraft in the background. Um, so I've kind of, I've used, this is, this reindeer is an image that I've got from Cricut Images. Um, the writing is one of my favorite fonts, which I think is autumn in November. Um, this Christmas crew writing is, I've designed it on Bazaar and uh, imported it, or was it Textart, one of the two, and imported it into um, into my design space. And this, again, is the same font, the Autumn in November font. Um, so the holly is another image that I've put on from images. And then the snowflakes are just stock images as well. So I've kind of um, designed designed it around sort of using images that I've found um, and kind of what I've thought up really just it had other things on there at the start I had different reindeer on there um, but I didn't quite feel I had more holly on there at one point but I just didn't quite feel that it worked um, so this is what we ended up with um, like I said last year's if I can find it so this is where all of my stuff is. Um, that was Agnes's Christmas jumper last year. These are the kids' Christmas jumpers from last year. Um, I think that was, no, that was for an aprons that I did. I also did aprons last year, Christmas aprons. Um, so there's lots of things that have been designed that are on here. Uh, I think that might have been the Christmas PJs, but it's... It's a bit mixed up, but basically it was, you saw it upstairs, but it's the same kind of um, design. So the wreath was design image um, and then the writing was uh, possibly the same font. Some of it was imported from Textart as well. So that is how we start, basically. Right, so what I do, um, because I'm printing multiple and because... Um, Obviously, you can use separate boards to uh, print off on Cricut um, different different items. But because I'm printing multiple, I'm kind of just cutting away the bits that I don't want, printing the bits that I do. So what I do is I'll size the whole image to the size of the T-shirt that I want. Um, what I do for business stuff and stock stuff is I keep an image in each different size. So it's easy. I can just go in there. And print it out at that size but obviously this is this is for me so um i've only got the one design so i just resize it for whichever size t-shirt first um but because i'm printing off so the little ones would probably be about the same sort of size so so because i'm going to print off like two or three at a time i'm going to cut away the rest of the image and just print off one part because as well it's all in different colors so i'll just print off one part um kind of multiple times but I'll resize the whole image first and then cut away and print off each individual bit in the individual colours so the writing is in gold red um so yeah we've got gold red and then sparkly gold for the reindeer and then obviously the holly is green and red and then the snowflakes are white so there's lots of different elements to print off um so I'm going to time lapse that because it does take quite a while um so I'm going to time lapse it of the kind of the process that I'm going to do but that's basically what I'm going to, I'm going to do I'm going to cut away different bits 
and paste them back in and then cut away another bit and paste that back in so I can get all the bits printed off. So I'm going to time lapse that. Um, you can see him playing Minecraft in the background because also he can chat away to himself then as well. Can't he? He's happy. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. Right, now, it's all printed out. I'm doing the twins t-shirts, so they're both the same size. Obviously, because they're the same size. So they're in their t-shirts. <laughs> Let's take that up behind me. I tied it in here the other day, look at it. It's just wires and stuff hanging everywhere. Um, I was gonna have a tidy run before I did this video because my craft desk is a bit of a mess. And then I thought, you know what? Just no, just, just, it is what it is. Anyway, so yeah, these are the twins' um, t-shirts. So it's I've printed out double of everything for these ones. So I'm just going to weed it all, and then I will print it onto the t-shirts. So let's go. Right, start with the bigger ones. Sometimes the designs, especially with the glitter, don't always like printing really small. So it's fine when they're bigger, but they don't always cut very well um, when they're small and you find bits missing sometimes. But that one doesn't seem to be too bad, which is good. Sometimes you can end up with like reindeers with missing heads and uh, it's really annoying because you've got to go back and start again. does find sometimes it's a little bit difficult to print off the tinier bits but this seems to have done it okay this time which is good you just got to kind of learn to do it really gently just in case you're missing bits it's never too bad with a normal vinyl but with glitter it can always be a bit of a nightmare Oops. you all right jojo And obviously when they're really tiny it gets quite fiddly with some of the bits especially when they don't want to come out What's that? find as well that with writing it can be um especially with these sorts of um curvy fonts it's sometimes really difficult to get the letters to print when it's small um because it will cut the ends off letters and it's always like 
even with the, the best blade, it doesn't always like printing the really small, fine letters. So sometimes if I've got a design, I might have to change the font in some cases because sometimes I just can't get it to print. But the majority of the time I can get it to work. I also try to use up as much of the vinyl as I can, um, not just for waste purposes, but for cost purposes as well. So I always try and keep hold of any, I always try to cut to size that I need and try and keep hold of any little bits and pieces that I've got because I can usually use them for something. Um, because obviously vinyl can be expensive but also it's a lot of waste if you're just using it one time and not um, and not throwing the rest away. So I try and keep hold of all the little tiny bits and use them up for, if I ever need any little tiny bits. I could usually use them for something. These are always the awkward ones, snowflakes. Sometimes they don't like printing all that well, snowflakes, especially when they're super tiny. Fingers crossed. They will have done okay. It's really annoying when you get, end up with half a snowflake missing. Fingers crossed they've... Ah! Printed. Seems to have done alright. <laughs> Joseph whispered in the background, he's trying to be quiet. Right, so that's all of those done. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just waiting for the heat press to heat up. Um, it's my heat press. I'm just waiting for that to heat up. And um, in an ideal world, I'd have a nice crafty office with all my stuff and all my stuff out, but I don't. So it's just the corner of the lounge and the floor, um, wherever I can do it. But it works, it's fine. One day, one day I'll have a nice, a nice big space to do it all and it'll be much easier because I can leave everything out. At the moment I've got all my vinyl under the desk, if you can see it, in a box, which I have to grab out every time, which can be a bit annoying. Anyway, I'm going to um, print out these t-shirts. I'm going to put you on the floor with the elves who are having a tea party. Oh no, now you're not straight. Right. So I'm going to set this up so that you can see what I'm doing, which you can't at the moment. So let me move you back a bit. Sorry, I'm probably making everybody feel a bit seasick. Okay. Right. So it's all a bit of guesswork, to be honest, because I kind of just guess. Find it easier. Okay. 
Right, so I'm gonna time lapse this bit because it will take a little while. But now I've got everything in position. I'll time lapse it so you can see what we're doing. Okay, so that's the finished item. That's on, like I said, that's on the little ones t-shirts. Um, one of them's got two snowflakes missing at the moment because um, I messed up some of the snowflakes. So I need to print them off when I do the other ones later and um, finish that off. So yeah, they all, they're all the same. It's just some obviously it's got a big pile of t-shirts now some obviously are bigger than others and i actually ordered navy blue t-shirts but some of them they've come through in a different color blue for some reason so they're a bit lighter than those but that doesn't matter so yeah the bigger ones and that's the little ones i think actually that could have done with being a little bit bigger um but it still looks okay i'll probably do the five to six one's the same sort of size because I could have got away with having that a little bit bigger, but they'll be fine. So I've also done this one. This is another bodysuit for Flo. So I've done this little My First Christmas one, which is really cute, which I think um, I might do to sell next year. Um, obviously they can be personalized, but this is all like sparkly pink. Oh, that was really cute. So I've done that one for her. She's also got uh, another... This is my pile now of stuff. So I did this as well. I bought this um, suit in Home Bargains, I think. Home Bargains or b and I can't remember which one. And I've literally just put my first Christmas on it and her little name in red on that one. So she's got that one to wear as well. She's That's actually got a matching hat which makes her look like the Pope, to be honest, because it sticks up in the air for some reason, but it's still cute, you know. So that's that one. And I've also, these I was selling last year and hopefully I'll be putting them on again, is Christmas sacks, the big giant Christmas sacks. Um, I've actually had a few people ask me if, if I'll be selling them next year and I will be. So they're always really nice. Obviously she's personalized. The rest of them have all got um, personalised sacks, some which I've bought over the years, um, but obviously now I can make them, so she's got that one. But they'll be on for sale next year as well. And they look dead nice, so that's all her stuff done there. Oh, and actually, I did one more thing. Um, I did myself a T-shirt too, which... Give me a second. did myself a Christmas T-shirt which you will probably see me wearing over the next couple of days. Nice, I might put something on the back, I'm not entirely sure yet, but I might do depending on how much time I've got. So that's it. That is how I make my stuff. Um, obviously, it's there's been a lot of trial and error um, over the time I've been working with my machine. Um, knowing which blades to use, which, you know, it might look easy now, but there's been a lot of um, 
it's been a lot of trial and error and to be honest i still mess things up now and it can be really frustrating especially with all the updates that it likes to do um and when you lose a design or anything like that that's really annoying or when you've got something in your mind and it doesn't kind of quite pan out how you wanted it to but I've got kind of, I'm, you know, used to which blades to use, which vinyl to use, where the best place is to buy things from, um, most, co you know, cost effective because it can be expensive. And I know, you know, it, it's it's quite time consuming, but I love doing this sort of thing. So for me, it's kind of quite therapeutic. And it means that when I'm doing things like our Christmas pyjamas, I can do whatever design I like. I don't have to have generic ones. Um, I can kind of make up whatever design I like. So I really enjoy doing them and, you know, because I've got it down in the lounge, I can just do like now I've got five left to do. So I'll probably do a couple more later. Um, but what we normally do is we we give them to everybody on Christmas Eve morning after the elves have gone. Um, and sometimes the elves leave a little present as well. So you never know. They sometimes do when they leave, when they go back to to Santa, they sometimes leave a little present. Um, but we normally give them their Christmas pyjamas as well. We don't really do Christmas Eve boxes. I did one year do a Christmas Eve box, but it just, um, I mean, it is a nice thing to do, don't get me wrong, but when you've got quite a lot of people to cater for, it can just be even more expensive and another thing to kind of try and try and do. So one year I did, um, I did individual Christmas boxes for them all and it was just kind of so much extra stuff to buy. And I already give them like extra bits in there, Christmas sacks like you know socks and bits and bobs like that um and it was just kind of like well, what else am I supposed to put in there you know because that's kind of extra things I've got to buy now that I would probably put in their Christmas sacks anyway all those little things so then one another year I did like a collective Christmas um Christmas Eve box so um gave it to them on Christmas Eve and it was kind of all their pajamas and things like that in it um I can't remember what else I put in it. I think I put hot chocolates and things, but we've got like a hot chocolate station in the kitchen anyway. So I kind of didn't need to, it wasn't something that I kind of fell into very easily. I didn't feel that it was, um, just kind of didn't work for us, to be honest. Um, maybe I'll try it again another year, but what we do is, like I said, the elves normally leave a little present and their Christmas pajamas they get on Christmas Eve morning to wear on Christmas Eve night. Um, and that's kind of, that's kind of what they get really. And everything else is, is for Christmas. So, I mean, it is a nice idea and probably if we only had maybe one or two children, we'd probably, we'd probably do it. But with a lot of children, it's, it's kind of another thing that could get really expensive and just not something that I kind of fell into to doing. So we kind of don't, don't do that so much. But anyway, um, that's it. That's, that's the vlog. So I hope you've enjoyed kind of watching what I do I'll try and do some more when I hopefully when I've got the business back up and going I'll try and do a few more um videos on different things that I make obviously I do lots of kids t-shirts it's all over on my in the I think it's in our link tree um in the video description which is in the write up below um I'm pretty sure it's leopard fox designs it's on Instagram and it's on Facebook obviously I haven't really updated it much over the last since since before Flo was born because I just haven't really got back to I didn't want to commit to something that I would then possibly let people down on so I've been doing the odd bit for people here and there when I you know locally um I'm always happy to do that sort of thing but I didn't want to kind of commit to to too much but hopefully next year um I'll get back up and running again and because I do love doing it it is I know it can be time consuming and it, it but I do love it I do love doing it it's very therapeutic and I enjoy it and I enjoy creating stuff and I enjoy seeing people wear my designs. So, you know, hopefully next year it will grow and some of you lovely people will buy things. So yeah, fingers crossed. But for now, that's it. I'm gonna go and do some other jobs that I've got to do before the baby wakes up and then probably come back to making some more t-shirts later. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to drop us a like and subscribe if you're not already. And we will see you in the next video.